Hey everyone, this is Dan from DHTV and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can use your camera and flash as a heart rate monitor. Let's get started. Alright, so to track your heart rate with the iPhone, it's pretty simple. You can download an app in the App Store. This one here is called Runtastic Heart Rate. Now, I went ahead and chose this one because I've been using it since the iPhone 5, but there are a few apps, and you can choose the one that best fits what you're doing. Test them out and see which one you like, but they pretty much work the same way. This one here in particular says, Lightly Place Finger on Camera Lens and Flash. So you can see on the back side here, the camera flash is on. So you want to basically put your finger over both of them. So we'll cover them up that way it's covering the flash and the camera lens and you want to make sure that you're accurately on there so that it starts to track so now I've got my heart rate tracking it's starting to go around and it's actually going to beep throughout this process now one thing to keep in mind is a lot of phones are starting to come out with dedicated heart rate monitors and this when compared to those came out pretty accurately and uh, didn't really show much of a difference, maybe one or two beats per minute. Now, once it's completed, it'll go ahead and show you where you rank up and the uh, average ranges and things like that. Usually I'm in the 55 range, so I'm a little bit lower. And uh, it also depends on your athletic level and what you're doing and things like that. If you're sleeping, resting, sitting, standing, talking like I am. And once you complete, you're basically gonna see your measure and you can see if you're measuring while you're sleeping or when you're about to run before sports. This one here, I'm just gonna put general. I'm pretty happy. And you can actually add additional information right here if you want. I'm not going to, so we'll discard that. Now, once you've completed that, you can actually check your history here and see where you've ranked up in the past. You can see your last 10 measurements. I've measured in at 54 beats per minute, 53 beats per minute. And then the one I just did now, I discarded because I don't really want to track it while I'm talking and things like that. And both of these were at a seated rest. So usually I'm in that range. And I am pretty athletic, so that does seem to be pretty accurate for me. And in comparison to some of the other tests with the doctors and things like that, it's usually around the 55 to 60 range for me. So keep that in mind. Again, this app is in the App Store. You can check it out for yourself. There are many other apps, but you don't need a dedicated phone that has a dedicated a heart rate monitor built in. So I'll just show you a couple more here that uh, are available for you and some of these are free some of them are paid this one here instant heart rate looks like it does the same thing heart rate free cardio heart instant heart rate this one's actually a paid of that first one and then we've got runtastic heart rate here which i've got so check it out let me know what you guys think if you're interested in this kind of stuff and uh, if you guys feel that this is as accurate as those phones that have dedicated heart rates built in thanks for watching don't forget like the video share it with your friends on facebook twitter google plus don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one and i will see you next time